In this video, I'm going to create a function in C that's going to check whether one string ends with another string. So we'll make some test strings. I'll say car my string is equal to roses are red. Then I'll make a string for the ending. So I'll say here car end OK is equal to red. And what I want to do is create a function that's going to be able to check whether this string here ends with this string here. And it's going to be like the ends with function in Python, if you're familiar with Python. To make this function, I'm going to include a couple libraries to help. I'm going to include the string.h library because it has a helpful function called strlen that finds the length of a string. I'm also going to include the stdbool.h library because it allows me to work with Boolean true and false values. So the function is going to look like this. We'll say bool ends with car star string and car star end. And the function is going to return true if this string ends with this string and false if it doesn't. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the way it's going to work is that we're going to check the end of this string to make sure all the characters match this string here. To do that, we're going to need the length of both strings. We'll say here int string length is equal to strlen string. So strlen string length, that's a function that's going to find the length of the string. We'll do the same thing with the end string. We'll say int and length is equal to strlen end. So now that we've got the length of both strings, we can create that loop that's going to go through and make sure that the end of this string matches end. Before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of error handling because if the end length is greater than the string length, that means it's impossible for this string to end with this end string here because the end string would be longer than the actual string. So we'll say here, if end length is greater than the string length, we're going to return false immediately because we know it's just not possible because the end would be longer than the string itself. So next we'll write the loop that's going to do the check to see if the end of this string is the same as the end string. So we'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than end length i plus plus. So we're going to check for each character in the end string. That's why we have i going from zero up until end length. Then we'll do the check. And if any character is off, if any character doesn't match, we're going to return false at that point because we know then that the string doesn't end with the end string. So we'll say here if the string at string length minus i doesn't equal end at end length minus i, return false. So here's the comparison. We're comparing the characters at the end of string to the characters in end. And we're going by the string length and end length minus i just to account for the fact that they have different lengths. Now, if we make it through all of this and we haven't found any characters that don't match, then they must match. So we'll say here, return true, because at this point we've established that the string does end with the end string. So now we can test this function out. We'll try calling it with this end OK string. We'll say here, if ends with, my string and end OK. Then we can say printf. Yes, string ends with red. Else, we'll printf. No, string does not end with red. And we're expecting the yes answer here. So let's run this here and we'll see what we get. And we get yes, string ends with red. So it appears to be working but we should probably check it with something that doesn't match. So let's try that now. We'll say here car end not okay is equal to blue. And we'll say if ends with my string end not okay, then printf yes string ends with blue. Otherwise, let's printf no string does not end with blue. So now we're expecting a no in the case of this second string here because blue does not match the end of the string here. 
So we run this here now, and we get no string does not end with blue in that second case there. We should probably test one more thing because we want to check if this if statement is going to work. Let's test to see if the end string is larger than the string itself, then we get false back. So I'll say here, car too long is equal to, and I'll say roses are red, violets are blue. So we have a string here now that's longer than the original string. So the function really needs to return false in this case. We'll check. We'll say here, if ends with my string too long, we'll print f failed to detect issue because that just shouldn't happen. Otherwise we'll print f length issue detected. And we can run this here now and we get length issue detected and the function is working correctly. And so we've written a function in C that can check to see whether a string ends with another string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.